What's going on, Pokemon Masters? Pwn Tracy, we're back today with another live Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Cyber Wi Fi battle up against DKPK Master. That is his Twitter name. And that is a name that I'm going to put there because I can't pronounce the name that his character is. So, we are actually using the same OU team from the last battle. Even though I said it was not going to be the same, I decided, hey, since we're going to have a double upload, we might as well have the same team. So, we have a Mega Sharpedo, Sylveon, Zygarde. Arcanine, Star Raptor, and a Bray Loom. So right now in the comment section down below, vote on who you think is going to be the MVP, the most viable Pokemon on the team today. I just ran out of breath. Okay, the MVP, I think the MVP is going to be Mega Sharpedo, just because she is a beast. She's a monster. She takes so many lives. Okay, let's start this battle. She's Mega Sharpedo, she's just so good. And it's a girl. I don't know why it's a girl. That makes no sense. Jaws should definitely be a boy, but it's fine. So, he is bringing a Charizard, Bisharp, Drag just Dragalde, Dragalde, I don't even know. A Roserade, a Machamp, and a Swamper, a Swimper. Okay. That is a good team. That is a really good team. And we do have a Bray Loom. So we have a Grass type to get rid of that Swamper. I just don't want that Swamper to set up rocks because that would not be fun at all. So I think we might actually just lead off with our Bray Loom so that his Swampert can't set up rocks for free. Actually, I'm not going to do that. Okay, we're going to lead off with Star Raptor. And we are going to... I'm basically just going to lead off with Star Raptor just because Star Raptor counters most of his team. Uh, if he leads off with that Swampert... Okay, you know what? No. No, 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 no. We have Hyper Offense. We can't let the rocks get up for free. So we're going to lead off with our Bray Loom. We're going to lead off with the Bray Loom. And we're just going to counter that Swamper lead if he decides to bring the Swamper lead. I think he brought the Swamper all the way at the very end of his team just to trick me. Just to trick me into not thinking that his Swamper is going to be leading off with. I don't know. He's trying to play mind games. So here's Bray Loom. And he's going to lead off with Jasmine. Jasmine, the Rosa Raid. Okay. All right. This is a bad lead for us. We're swapping out. We are going to swap out. He might set up Toxic Spikes, but I don't I don't think he would do that. I don't think he would do that. He might Sludge Bomb right now, which is actually what I'm predicting. So, mm, honestly, I think Lucas is going to have to be our Switch. Yep, Lucas is going to have to be our Switch. Our big Labrador is going to have to come in right now. Uh, if, he's, like, if he Leech Seeds predicting the Switch, he is just too real. Are you real? Is this Rose Raid real? Is it real? Here's it. Amazing Intimidate that matters so much. He's gonna go for the Toxic Spikes, just like I said, and he does it. And I really wish I'd talk to Keel on the Breloom right now because that would be great. I'm actually gonna going to predict the Swampert to come in right now, and we're gonna swap out into Breloom, predicting the Swampert. I really hope the Swampert comes out, or I'm gonna regret this. I don't know why I'm over predicting like this, but I will not over predicting, but I'm predicting like this because I really hope it's actually gonna happen. I feel like he's gonna swap out into that. Arcanine is going to be really good, but that Toxic Spikes is going to be really annoying. It's going to be really unbelievably annoying. It's going to be so annoying. I really hope he swaps out into the Swampert, predicting the Flare Blitz. That would be great. That would be amazing. I don't know which Charizard his Charizard is. Probably a Y, though. Probably Charizard Y, just because, it'll, I don't know. Here he has a Dragon-type on his team. I don't know why he would have two, which doesn't look like an X would fit in. So I think it's going to be a Y. I have no idea. Look at Lucas shaking himself off. Look at him. He looks great. He looks great. But honestly, if that's Charizard X, we might have some problems because actually, even if it's X over Y, we have two extreme speed users. So I'm not too afraid of that. Okay, we're going to swap out first. I don't know what that means. I do not know what that means. Here's Brady Loom. What is he going to do? I really wish I had Toxic Kill right now. Oh, I really wish I did. He's going to go for these. He's going to withdraw Jasmine. Show me the Swampert. Goes on to Dragolge. Okay. Dragolge. Whatever. That's that's decent. I mean, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um. Okay, no, we're not gonna run. No. We're not gonna do that. Um, we can. He's probably just gonna swap back out into his into his thing. But we really don't need Breloom anymore. Because the Swampert. Actually, Swampert is it's still there. Swampert is still there. So we're going to swap out into our Sylveon. Going to swap right out into our Sylveon. I really hope he doesn't use a Poison-type move, and I really hope he just drops a Draco. I don't know why he wouldn't use a Poison-type move right now, but please drop a Draco all over me. Drop a Draco all over my body. Here's the po There's a Poison. Drop a Draco, and he Sludge Bombs. Okay, Adaptability, that's going to two-shot. Yep, we take one just like I knew we would, but... 
I was really hoping on the, I was really, and we died to poison. I was really hoping the Draco was gonna come. I don't know why I just stacked off Sylveon like that. I don't know why I just did that. I really don't know why I just did that. We're gonna go out into Zygarde. I really don't know why I just did that. That was so stupid of me. That was so stupid. Okay, I'm gonna Dragon Dance right now, predicting, there's the poison, which is annoying. I have to Dragon Dance. We basically, we have to Dragon Dance right now. We absolutely have to Dragon Dance. Yeah, we're Dragon Dancing. We have to do it. We have to do it. He has to switch out to you. He has to. No, he stays in. He's going to drop Draco. And we just lost another Pokemon to this Dragology. Over predicting is great. Over predicting is great. Please miss your Draco. He's going to Dragon Pulse. He's not even going to. He doesn't even run Draco. Why would you run Draco when there's Dragon Pulse and adaptability? And doesn't knock, it out, knock us out. But we're going to go down to the poison. So that is just great. That is just great. Yup, we go down to the poison. That is just great. I love over predicting. I love over predicting. All right. Now we're going to play it safe. Now we're going to play it safe. We're going to play it safe. We're going to go out into Star Raptor. And we're going to Brave Bird. Believe it or not, we're actually going to Brave Bird. Actually going to Brave Bird. Oh, we can just double edge. Really doesn't matter what we do. Brave Bird sounds better. We're just going to Brave Bird. Because why not? He stays in. He's going to sag off the Dragology. Because guess what? He doesn't need it. He already took out the two Pokemon that it can take out. Oh, okay. Down, down. Blah, blah, blah. Can't speak. Down goes the Dragology. And I don't know who he's going to go out into right now. We need Valor to just do amazing right now. We need Valor to do amazing. He could go out to his Bisharp. And that would be really annoying. Wish I was an Expert Bell or something else. Because Scarf isn't really going to help us out too much in this match. And if we were Expert Belt, then we could swap into the close combat and not be afraid of his Edward, which is probably Bisharp. Yep, Edward is his Bisharp. All right, we're swapping out. We need to swap out. If he sets up Sucker, if he sets up Sucker Punch, if he sets up a Sucker Punch, can we still win? I think so. I think Lucas can take him out. He might pursue. I really hope he doesn't carry the pursuit. That would be great. Or if he just Sucker Punches, because he kind of, he needs to Sucker Punch right now. He needs to. He knows he needs to. He has to do that because if I get a Brave Bird off and do all that great damage, then he's in a bad position. He will be in, in a very bad position if he lets that happen. Very bad position. Such a bad position. So I'm really hoping that's what he does. Really hoping he sucker punches. Come on, Bi Sharp. I hate coming up against a blue Bi Sharp so much. Red Bi Sharp looks so much better. I don't know why. I don't know why it's just blue. Blue is just really ugly. Blue is such an ugly color. Just look at it. I mean, I love blue, but just this kind of blue on a buy sharp? No. No, it does not look good. It does not look good. Game Freak. Game Freak, what are you doing? What are you doing, Game Freak? I just spit into the mic. All right. All right, great. He's taking his time to think about this move, though. He's taking his time to think about this move. That is fine. I can't believe he did those two over predictions. We have, this is why we need to really just stop over predicting. Really need to stop over predicting. Okay, we're going to swap out. He doesn't go for the pursuit. He's probably sucker punching, and that is great. That is great. Here's Lucas, our big dog. Even if he swords dances, he's only going to be at plus one, so I'm not going to be too afraid of that. But then again, I'm still going to be pretty scared of that. Still going to be pretty scared. Oh, Defiant! Oh, right. If he swords dances, then he wins. No, he's going to sucker punch. Oh, thank. Oh, thank you, Arceus. I just got so scared. How do I forget about Defiant? Okay. Oh, I just got so scared. We're going to close combat right now. He could Sucker Punch, which in all in all honesty, I didn't even know what I just said. In all honesty, that would be fine. He's going to withdraw. That is fine. I cannot take the risk of swapping out Lucas or Flare Blitzing and him going out to Swampert, which he does. He goes out to the Swampert. We're going to get a close combat off on the Swampert. Should do a decent chunk, hopefully. Can I do half? Doesn't quite do half, which is really unfortunate, but... I'm going to predict him to want to set up the Stealth Rocks, and I'm just going to close combat again. I'm just going to press that close combat button, and we're going to close combat this Swampert right in its face. We don't see the leftovers. He might actually be a uh, a Rain Dancing Swampert. I don't know why he would. No, he's not. I was going to say Rain Dancing Mega Swampert, but I just said Rain Dancing Swampert, which makes no sense. Close combat does not take him out. He barely lives. Can he Earthquake? Can he Earthquake or is he going to... Yeah, he's going to Earthquake. Okay, well, we're definitely going to go down to this. We're at minus two. We're not even defensive. So, yup, down goes our big dog, which really stinks. Our big dog went down. Our big dog, our big lab just went down. I don't know why he didn't stay in with his, with his Pokemon. I don't know why he didn't do that. Okay, we could go out into Sharpedo, Sharknado. Uh, a Bullet Punch is going to do a decent chunk, but we should be able to live that. But we can't really do much to that Machamp. So, I think that... I think that Breloom is going to have to be our switch right now. 
We could go out to Sharknado, but what can we do to a Machamp? How much is Waterfall going to do? Waterfall is not going to do too much, honestly. It's really not going to do too much. It really won't. Um, I'm trying to think. Trying to think. I wish I had Ice Fang. That'd be great, but we don't. We have Ice Beam. We don't know why we have Ice Beam. Still, I still don't know why we have Ice Beam. Okay, we're going to go out to Sharknado. We're just going to swap out into Sharknado, and we're going to Waterfall, because it's not like this thing gets water absorbed, am I right? There's no way this Swamper gets water absorbed. No way. There's not even a chance. Not even a chance. So we're going to Waterfall him. I know we outspeed him, especially because our Arcanine outsped him. Uh, so that's one reason why I know that we're going to outspeed. He might swap out. If he does that, we should be fine. We should be fine. Look at Sharpedo's eyes. It looks amazing. Sharpedo's such a good Pokemon. He's going to stay in sack off Brock Lesnar. I don't know what that reference is to, but down goes Brock. I'm sorry, Brock. It had to happen. It had to happen, Brock. It had to happen. And we're going to take some toxic damage, which is very annoying. Don't get me wrong. It is very annoying. We're going to get the speed boost, which is useless because we will be swapping out uh, no matter what comes in. Unless it's the Charizard. If it's the Charizard, we might be staying in. We might be staying in. We know Charizard is definitely his Mega because he didn't Mega Evolve his Swampert. He's going to go out to Jasmine, which is the Rosa Raid. Okay, I'm going to predict the Giga Drain right now. Going to predict the Giga Drain, and we're going to go out into... I think Staraptor can definitely take one. Um, We need Staraptor to win, though. So, we're going to go out into Breloom. We're going to go out into our Breloom. I don't know why I did that. We need Staraptor to win, but Staraptor is the only reason we need to win for this Rosa Raid. I don't know why I just did that. All right, he's going to go with the Giga Drain, and it's resisted. It's a Breloom, and Breloom, eat that up. Delicious, delicious, delicious. I'm not going to rock to him because if he goes out into his Bisharp and we get the speed drop, he's going to get the attack raise, which is not fun at all. It is not fun. I Actually, I have to kind of have to rock to him. Yep, we're going to rock. We have to rock to him. We have to rock to him. We could just Mach Punch after the Bisharp comes in. So, yeah, there's a rock to him. Lower his speed, which is amazing. And he's going to Toxic Spikes, get the even worse layer. That doesn't really matter. That was just a waste of turn. I don't know why he did that. Because our uh, Sharpedo has already been poisoned, so we can't get even more poison. So, and Seraptor is immune to it. So, I don't know why he did that. I do not know why he did that. That was just wasting a turn. Just wasting a turn. I wish, I wish, I really, really wish right now he does not go for the synthesis. There's a rock team code to crit. Okay, we're not even KO. Oh man. There's a speed drop, and he's going to sludge bomb. Just getting rid of me. Okay, that is great. That is great. Gonna take out one up. I am sorry. We we're not even we're not really doing that good this match. We are not really doing too good this match. But it's fine. It is fine. Will close combat get rid of this Rosa Raid? I'm not sure. I am not sure. I kind of want to try. Kind of want to try. Let's let's calc this really quick. How much a double edge does to buy sharp and how much Brave Bird does to buy sharp? I wish we were banded, but we're scarfed. Oh, this stinks so much. All right, uh, buy sharp. Let's see, level fifty. Sucker punch does seventy-one percent, and we're basically at seventy-one percent already. Wow, that stinks. Brave Bird and double edge do up to forty-eight max. Well, that's jolly though. We're adamant. Oh, uh, it does 53% max. That's even... Oh, that's barely better. Okay. Um, We're going to go out into Sharknado. Do we have a chance at winning this? I'm trying to think. What is our only chance at winning this? We have to go out to Sharknado if we want a chance at winning this. So we're going to go out into Sharknado. Because that's our only way we can even win this. So here's Sharknado. And we have to Crunch. Is the Crunch going to knock him out though? I think it is. Crunch should be able to knock him out. So yeah, we're gonna crunch. Crunch should be able to knock him out. Really hoping this can knock him out. Please, Sharpedo, please knock him out. And it is enough to knock him out. There we go. That is great. That is great. That is great. Let's check. How much does a Mega Sharpedo's waterfall do to a do to a Machamp? Uh, let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Bullet Punch does 13%. We eat that up. And Crunch does 44. Waterfall does 60. Okay, so we're, we we can't do much. We cannot do much. We cannot do much at all. Oh, that really sinks. I just hit my mic. That that really does suck. That really does suck. That really does suck. Uh, how about to a Bi Sharp? I didn't even check that. Level 50. Waterfall does 66%. Okay, that's max. Oh, he's going to go out to John Cena, which is going to be his Machamp. We basically either have to hope... For the, we have to hope for the. Hold on, I want to check how much a Machamp's dynamic punch does to Star Raptor. 
it's neutral, so it's probably going to do a big chunk. Uh, let's see. Level 50. Dynamic Punch is 91. Okay, that knocks us out. So we basically have to hope for some hacks right now. I would love some hacks right now. Some hacks would be great. I'm actually going to protect. No, I'm not going to protect. Why would I protect? We're going to Mega Evolve, and we're going to Waterfall. We need some hacks. We need some hacks. Please, hacks, gods, Arceus, rain your luck all over me, please. If we need hacks, we need it right now. We need this hacks right now. Please, show me the hacks. Show me the hacks. Come on now. Come on. Here's a Waterfall. Please, Arceus, please. Arceus, please. Arceus. We get the flinch! Yes, we get the flinch! Yes! I just probably burst eardrums. I'm so sorry. Yes! Yes, Arceus! Yes, Arceus! We're gonna waterfall again. Yes, that was amazing. He's gonna blow punch, get some baby damage off. Yes, that is great. That is amazing. We're gonna waterfall. Yes! Yes, yes, there's the waterfall. Oh, that is just great. That is amazing. That is amazing. Yes! Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that is great. That is great. Uh, let's see. Let me just see this really quick like. Really quick like. I wanna- I'm calculating how much a, uh, oh, he's gonna go out to his Charizard, okay. That is interesting. Uh, I'm calculating how much a Sucker Punch does to a Mega Sharpedo. It does not too much, but we can't one-shot him either way, so... Sucker Punch is 33 to 39, and that's definitely gonna be enough to knock us out. Um, let's see, Charizard. I want to see how much a waterfall does to a Charizard Y in the rain. Uh, a, in the rain, it does. Wow, well, oh, that's level 100. I was gonna say, how does it only do 20%? Crunch one shots. Okay, we're gonna crunch. That just I made up my mind so quick. We're gonna crunch. Wait, hold on. Let me see how much Charizard X does. Charizard X. Charizard X. Waterfall crunch does more. Okay, we're gonna crunch. We're gonna crunch right now. We're gonna crunch you right in your face because we don't like you. He's actually a Y. Okay, that is great that we just crunched. Oh, if that flinch just won us the match. Did that flinch just win us the match? We were doing so bad. We were doing so bad. We were doing so bad. There's the drought. We were just doing so bad right now. Okay, here's the crunch. Oh, he's gonna protect. Why are you protecting? Why are you protecting? If I swapped out into Star Raptor right there, that would have been great. Why did you protect though? Get some uh, toxic damage off, I guess. I, I don't know. I do not know. I do not know. Maybe calcing or not calcing, but seeing what we're going to go for. We're going to crunch. That's what we're going to do. Here's the crunch. Crunch. Crunch him right in the face. Right this Charizard in the face. And it has a chance to one shot. And we don't get the one. Are you kidding me? We don't get the one shot. Is it Earthquake? Are you? We live on two. Wow. I just got so happy. I got so happy. And you just take it away from me. Oh, man. You just take it away from me. Okay. We're gonna go out into Star Raptor. I just got so happy, and then you just take it away. Okay, I need to calc how much a, how much a. Can I spell Star Raptor? Adamant, level fifty. How much a Quick Attack does to a Bi Sharp? Because he might think that we're not scarfed or banded in a way. I don't know why he would. Quick Attack probably doesn't do too much. It does fourteen percent. Okay, so we pretty much have to. No, if we close combat, we lose though. We lose to Sucker Punch if we close combat. So. But if we Brave Bird and Double Edge, it's not going to knock him out. So, we... I don't know what to do right now. Sucker Punch just knocks us out, guaranteed. Um, but if we close combat, we're going to be at minus one defenses. And it's still going to knock us out, guaranteed. So, really our only hope of winning is... We don't have a hope of winning. We lost. I cannot believe if that Crunch took him out, we would have won. We would have won if that Crunch took him out. I cannot believe that Crunch did not take him out. Wow. I am just really, I'm really mad at that. I am really mad that that crunch did not take him out. What should we do? It really doesn't matter what we do. Wow, I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. We have to close combat. That's really, we have to do that. We have to hope for some weird reason he doesn't, that he doesn't go for the, I cannot believe, I, we have to hope that for some weird reason he doesn't go for Sucker Punch or that Sucker Punch doesn't knock us out at minus one defense because Raber does 53% max damage, so... Yeah, we really... Sucker Punch does 90 to 107%. And that's... We're definitely under... We are under 90. We are definitely under 90. So we're just going to close combat. Maybe he's not adamant. There's a Sucker Punch. Maybe he's not adamant. Maybe? Maybe? Nope. Okay, he's adamant. Okay. Well, that is a good game. Thank you for thank you for the battle. That was an intense battle. That flinch was amazing. Honestly, we had no chance of winning after those big... Over predictions and misplays. That was a great battle. Thank you for the battle. Remember, if you want a chance to battle me, go to follow my Twitter because I do ask for battles on there. Also, 
If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below because it helps out so much. It means a lot to me. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. That is it. Have a nice trip.